I am Nandu Gili, the Bunyip Elder. G'day, mate. It's time you knew the truth. Years ago, a great battle was fought over the fate of five mystic talismans. Brave few who challenged Boss Cass were trapped in the dreaming. Mom? Dad? Word grows that Boss Cass is seeking out the talismans again. He must be stopped at all costs. It's up to you to find the talismans before he does. It's up to me to save my family. Oi, Ty! Are you okay? Murray? Oh, am I glad to see you. Oh, you're never gonna believe what just happened. I was playing in the forest when the ground suddenly... That's when you showed up. Rude! Sounds like you've got a fair deacon adventure ahead of you, mate. Not that I'm into that sort of thing. I'd much rather be at home watching the footy. But I tell you what, you do the adventuring and I'll help you out where I can. Welcome to Rainbow Cliffs, mate. By the way, whenever you see one of these signs, I won't be far away. I've heard that if you press the action button, you can talk to me, whatever that means. OK, now let's get down to brass tacks. If you're going to be out adventuring, then you'll need another boomerang. And I know just the place to find one. <laughs> Head down to Bly Bly Station. I'll meet you there. Thank you. 
Good day, Julius. Now, if I just reroute these wires to. I said good day, mate. I is deaf. Oh, goodness gracious me. Oh, I didn't see you there. I was just making some last minute adjustments. Well, 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 you must be Ty. Good day. So, you old coot. <laughs> What's this contraption do? <laughs> This contraption is the key to finding the talismans. Why is this so? It's quite simple, really. It uses an oscillatory microfeeder to scan for trace energy signals that match the unique power matrix of the talismans. Huh? Like a big nose that sniffs them out. Oh. Ah. And thunder eggs are the key to powering the machine. Thunder eggs? Oh, they're as rare as hen's teeth, mate. Couldn't you just use batteries? <sighs> if only it was that easy. You see, this machine doesn't just find where the talismans are, it actually teleports them here. Struck me lucky! And that, my friends, requires a great deal of energy. So, uh, how is Ty here gonna find all these thunder eggs? Eh, I was just wondering that myself. A reasonable question. I've created these portals to lead Ty to areas rich with them. Of course, they won't just be lying all over the place. Just our luck. A lot of them will have already been found. The trick will be convincing the locals to part with their prized possessions. But I'm afraid I can't help you with that. If you're as resourceful as they say, Ty, I'm sure you'll think of something. Righto, Ty. There's no point in mucking about. You've got to find a second boomerang. I'll see you in two up. This billabong has got the lot. Gum trees, wallabies, and even a koala. <laughs> There's plenty to do here, so let's get a move on. Listen, mate, I solved your problem. I found you a second boomerang. That's great. Where is it? See that tree over there? Yeah. Well, it's not there. Right. Well, where is it? It's on top of Frill Neck Peak. Oh, great. Oh, don't worry. You'll just have to jump, run, rang, and bite your way there while avoiding Boss Cass's henchmen. Look, mate, life wasn't meant to be easy. Beauty, butler, bonza, I got one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One down, 71 to go. <laughs> Come on, let's get a move on. <laughs> I reckon those dunnies are a complete waste of space. <laughs> Only last week I used one, walked two blocks, was clobbered by a frill, and then woke up back on the dunny. Which was the best place to be, given the surprise I got. Julius reckons it's got something to do with the space-time conundrum. But if you ask me, I think it's a load of bull dust. So, you're saying that if I have an accident, I'll end up back at one of these? Something like that. Truth time! You've got a fair set of choppers on you. 
I reckon you could put them to good use by pressing the bite button. <laughs> Get it? Stop us. Bite button. <laughs> Never mind, Ty. Move on. Have a go at those crates. I was speaking to a bloke down the local watering hole, and he reckons you can use your rangs to take care of enemies and smash things. Shoe Ripper! He said something now, wait a minute, he said something about pressing the throw button to use them. Not more cages. Struth! What happened here? Boss Cass did this. He's caged all your bilby mates and hidden them across the land. Oh, yeah? Well, big mistake. No one messes with my mates. Now, there's a thunder egg in each area if you free them. No worries. Unless you're Boss Cass. You youngers, have it easy these days. If you want to get a better look at your surroundings, just wiggle your camera stick. And you can adjust the camera distance by pressing the camera distance button. In my day, we had to get off our backsides if we wanted to see the world. I don't know if it's true, but I heard about this bloke who found 300 opals, then took them to Julius's opal machine. Anyway, something weird happened, and he ended up with a thunder egg. <laughs> Righto. As a lad, there was this kid, Toothy Malone, I think his name was, eh, who could bite his way through a dozen pies in less than a minute. These aren't pies, mate, but I reckon you could chomp the lot by pressing the bite button quickly. Try biting them quickly to reach that thunder egg. Just might do. G'day, Julius. Oh, hello, Di. You, you know this golden cog just might be perfect for my latest invention. The Cogulaceous Boom Rangorous Extrapolator. Right, what's that? 
Why, it's a machine that creates experimental techno rangs. I need golden cogs to build a new one. Fifteen, to be exact. And if you find enough, bring them to my lab in Rainbow Cliffs, and I'll build you a new boomerang. You're on, mate. Julius told me to tell you this, but I have no idea what it means. Apparently, according to Julius, you can lock your camera on to enemies at any time by pressing and holding the lock on button. believed it if I didn't see it with my own eyes. <laughs> you actually found the second boomerang. Well, there's no time to sit around and feel all pleased with yourself. You're gonna have to put that new ring to use. You see, I had a thunder egg I was gonna give you, but a bunch of frills stole it. You'll have to take them all on to get it back.
was down at the local watering hole last night and this bloke was bragging about how he could throw a boomerang better than anyone else. He reckons if you hold down your tie's view button, you can get a rang's eye view of your target. So, got me thinking, would that really work? See these air platforms? Underneath are three switches. Why don't you use Ty's view to target and shoot them? You might just find an easier way to get to that thunder egg. Wasn't a half bad effort, Ty. I reckon with a little more practice, you'll get there. Cool! It looks like today wasn't a complete waste of time. <laughs> you seem to have learned a thing or two. Oh, yeah, you're too right. Uh, you know, there's one other thing I could show you, but uh, I don't know if you're ready for it yet. Yeah? Well, what's that? Well, a mate of mine who knows a mate who knows a mate who knows another mate says you can use two boomerangs to glide long distances. How? It's simple, really. You jump, then press and hold jump again to start gliding. Right. Is that safe? Safe as houses, mate. See if you can glide across this gap to reach that thunder egg. You ripper! Ah, look at that. Me mate's mate, mate, mate was telling the truth after all. <laughs> Just as well I didn't call for an ambulance. <laughs> well, lad, you made it through with flying colours. And as a little extra bonus, a stopwatch will appear near the start. OK. What's that for? The racetrack. You can race the clock to win another thunder egg. Right. I'll give that a go later. <laughs> well, that's enough gas bagging from me. Let's head back to the Bly Bly station. <coughs> See these funny looking mushrooms? A bloke down at the local water and hole reckons that if you stand in the middle of them, something weird will happen. Welcome to the track. Race to the finish as fast as you can, mate. The checkpoints will lead the way. But miss one and the race is over. <laughs> Good luck. It 
was a ripper of a race, Ty. You're faster than a long-legged emu with a case of the belly aches. <laughs> case of the belly aches. I reckon you've earned this. Oh, you beauty! It. Let me see that. At last, a mystic talisman. It's time to move out. We got four more talismans to find. You there, fetch my bags. <laughs> Soon, unimaginable power will be mine. 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 Smell that fresh rainforest air. See the cute wallabies. Surf the slippery water slide. Watch out for those leeches. G'day, Ty. Our good friend Shazza can get herself into a pickle sometimes. This time, her truck has broken down at the end of the forest road. Yoo-hoo! But if that isn't bad enough, I spotted some blue-tongued lizards nearby. You reckon you can give her a hand? Shoot bet, I'm on my way. Here's some free advice. Certain enemies deflect your rings with their thick skins, but are hopeless against those pearly whites of yours. <laughs> so sometimes you have to bite the bad guy.
Listen, Ty, before you tackle this water slide, there are a few things you need to know. You can speed up and duck under the logs by pressing the bite button. And you can slow down by pulling back on the movement stick. G'day, Cobber. <sighs> G'day, Ranger Ken. I need a favour, mate. There's a flock of cave bats in there. Cave bats? It's nearly the wet season, and we need to move them out before the caves flood. No worries. Here's something for your troubles. Oh, you beauty!
G'day, Shazza. Oh, shivers. Oh, Ty, am I glad to see you. Would you mind keeping those blue tongues off me back while I fill up my watering bottle? No worries. Thanks, Possum. Hit the boulders with your rang so they knock the blue tongues out of the way. Heaps for what you did back there, Possum. Ah, no worries. By the way, I found this at the creek. You want it? Shoe ripper! Well, I better get a move on. See you soon, Possum. You and me race, bro. Bet you a thunder egg you can't beat me. Lucky is all. But fair is fair. Next time I'll beat you. Sweet.
Oh my! You found enough golden cogs, haven't you? These will be perfect for my latest invention. I call it the Cogulacious Boomerangerous Extrapolator. Ty, it's a machine I designed to create cutting edge techno rangs. Oh my! This is very nice. It's a zoomerang. The zoomerang has a built in telescopic aimer. Press the TIE's view button to activate it. Use the movement stick to aim and the camera stick to zoom in and out on enemies for greater throwing accuracy. No worries. To select it, use the previous rang and next rang buttons to cycle through your collection. Welcome to the Great Barrier Reef, full of beautiful fish, friendly natives, and inviting sandy beaches. It's a beaut spot for a swim, if you know how. Ty, mate, good to see you again. G'day, Rex. You saved anyone today? Funny you should say that. Elle went for a bit of a swim out near Danger Spike. Danger Spike? Where's that, Rex? It's a nice little spot, not too far from Shark Reef. Yeah, and? Well, anyway, she's an excellent swimmer, but she hasn't come home yet. I'm starting to get a bit worried. Strafe? I'm on lifeguard duty, so could you have a look for me? Well, I would, mate, but I, I can't swim. Tell you what, I'll teach you. Follow me. When you're in water, press the bite button to dive. Then tap the jump button to start swimming. OK. Wish me luck. By the way, those boomerangs of yours won't work underwater. But i got a prezi for you that'll fix that. These are aquarangs. I found them in an old shipwreck years ago. They cut through water like a hot knife through butter. If you can dive under the water and grab them, well, then they're all yours. Good one. The aquarangs work like regular boomerangs, but you can only use them underwater. Oh, and one other thing. You're not a fish, mate, so keep an eye on your air supply. Yeah, thanks, Rex. Use the aqua ring to hit this switch. It'll open the shark door so you can be on your way. Sweet. Great work, Ty. You've learned how to swim and use those aquarangs. With a bit of practice, you'll be a champion swimmer just like me. Yeah, beauty. This is my good mate. She'll show you the way to danger, Spike. Good luck, mate. Hey, Ty. You can swim faster by tapping the jump button to gain speed. <laughs> it's 
Let's go find L. Deary me. My sweet little angels have wandered off exploring. Now I can't find them anywhere. Please can you help me? My babies, my precious babies. Thank you so much, little orange fish creature. How can I ever repay you? Hey, I know. You can have this sparkly rock I found in the sand. All right.
they're good. And what about you? Let me guess. Rex was worried about me again? Yeah, that's right. Isn't he a sweetheart? Well, I better get home so he stops fretting. Righto, then. By the way, I found this on the way. Want it? So, Ty, are you up for a race? See if you can keep up. You fair dink and beat me. I've trained you well, mate. My uh, swimming coach gave this to me when I first beat him in a race. Now I want you to have it. Gee, thanks, mate. Cool!
jolly good die. You've collected enough thunder eggs to power the machine. L let's give it a go, shall we? Outstanding! Simply outstanding! The energy levels are off the scale, and, and, and... Yes, yes, I've got a lock on one of the talismans. Stand back, Ty. It's coming through. Retrieve the first of the ancient talismans. When Boss Cass discovers that we are out to thwart his plans, he will do all in his power to stop you. Be careful, my friend. She'll be right, old timer. Shock me, lucky you actually found the talisman. I just might have bet on the wrong horse. Anyway, mate, Julius has got a present for you at his lab.
I've made <laughs> a most exciting discovery. The talisman machine is brimming with excess energy from the Fire Thunder eggs. By diverting that energy to my special Hyper Techno Boomerang Maker, I can make special elemental rangs. Watch. Simply smashing, I present to you the Flamerang. You beauty! Yes, yes, this ring can start fires and melt ice. It even has a more powerful effect on some enemies. To select it, use the previous rang and next rang buttons to cycle through your collection. It will aid you well in your quest. Now, go try it out. Hello again, Ty. Ah! I see you found some more golden cogs smashing. Ty, let's try them out in the Rang Machine. Eureka! We've created a multi-rang. According to my calculations, the multi-rang will allow you to throw a lot of rangs at the same time. Shoe beauty! He's smarter than I thought. Oh, you little ripper, Ty! You found a fair dinkum rainbow scale! When you find enough, take them to the Bunyip Elder at Rainbow Cliffs. I imagine we shall do quite well here, because it's a perfect focal point for the talisman machine. You have done well, my friend. The information you supplied is invaluable. So someone thinks they can stop me obtaining all the talismans! Of course he will never succeed! I want this meddling mammal stopped at any cost! Yes, sir. Right away, sir. Yes, sir. Right away, sir. Those talismans are as good as mine. Begin phase two! <laughs> There's nothing quite like a moonlit billabong. Except maybe a moonlit billabong full of giant roaches, spiders and bats. G'day, Ty. Welcome to the Billabong. This is the home of me old mate, Dennis the Cheapskate. Well, <coughs> sorry, Dennis. I, I mean, Green Tree Frog. Oh, dear. He has got the biggest thunder egg collection this side of the Black Stump. I've tried to convince him to give some up, but he's too precious with them. I'm sure if you did some odd jobs for him, he'd be happy to... Throw some your way, you know what I mean. Leave it to me, Mori.
Don't hurt me. Hey, relax, mate. I'm Ty, and you must be Dennis the Cheapskate. Well, I mean Green Tree Frog. Ty? Oh, Maury's friend. I'm so glad to see you. The local bully, Neddy, has extinguished all the lights that show my way home. And now I don't know where to go. It's not that I'm scared of the dark or anything, but... Uh... <laughs> Oh, um, uh, yes, uh, could you kindly escort me home? No worries. I made it thanks to you. I'm not sure if you knew this, but I have a magnificent collection of thunder eggs. I insist that you have one. <coughs> oh dear, this isn't good. My hot water system has given up the ghost. The pilot flames must have gone out. Could you find a way to fire up the gas again? I'm allergic to gas. Otherwise, I'd do it, you know. Yeah, okay, no worries.
G'day, mate. I came here to give Dennis some diving lessons, but he chickened out. Well, who can blame him? You know, Ty, it's high time you learnt how to dive. All you have to do is run and press the jump button near the water's edge, then press the bite button to do a dive. See if you can dive into that yellow crate. Bonza, you're a natural, Ty. If you're up to the challenge, why don't you try the Super Tower High Dive? Here's the challenge, mate. Dive from the top of the Super Tower and pass through each of the rings on the way down. If you get them all, I'll give you a Thunder Egg. Oh, you beauty! That was a pearler of a dive. I tell you what, mate, you'd give the Pippi Beach nippers a run for their money. Here, you've earned this. Ripper!
You shouldn't be here, Ty. This is where Neddy lives. Neddy. Yes, Neddy. He's the biggest, toughest bully this side of the Black Stump. Well, he doesn't sound so tough. <laughs> nice one, Ty. Now you've riled him. Ho, ho, ho! Trespasser am orange rat, puny rat. No match for Neddy. Neddy clobber him good. Ooh. Neddy, I'm so ashamed. Here, Neddy gives shiny rock to new friend. All right. Hot cup of tea. Thank you, Ty. Here's a little something that I insist you have. It's from my magnificent collection of thunder eggs. Grasses! Even the cockroaches here like a flutter at the track. It's so simple, even you can have a go. Just run to the finish, making sure you go through each checkpoint.
Not bad at all. You've made it through in record time. Here's your thunder egg. Sweet. Dennis, I'm sorry, but I've stepped out to take a bubble bath. If you could leave your name and number at the sound of the beep, I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Ciao! Check out these amazing snowy mountains. Full of frolicking kangaroos, high-speed wombats, and giant yabbies, all eager to meet you. I hope you packed a clean pair of thermals. <laughs> oh, this is bad. Really bad. While the children were playing in the snow, when that little scamp Bernie accidentally caused an avalanche. I can hear them call out, but I can't see them. No worries, Sheila. I'll find them for you. Snow has compacted here, mate, so it's pretty slippery. So it could help if you need a bit of a speed boost.
steady on, mate. The ice on these lakes is very thin, mate. Tread carefully or you'll break it. Six, seven, eight, all accounted for. I don't know how you did it. Thanks. No worries, Sheila. By the way, little Poonie found this in the snow. You can have it if you want it. Unreal.
This mill belongs to that Galar, Boss Cass. He's been using it to supply material for some secret project of his. Anyway, I reckon there's something up top. See if you can find a way up there. Ah, uh, no worries.
It's a track like any other, apart from the slippery ice and, and, and the snow and the downhill bit. It's a sprint to the finish, passing through all the checkpoints as you go. But make sure you hit them all, Ty, otherwise you'll get nothing. You did it! You did it! You made it through in record time! There! Have a thunder egg! Oh, you beauty! Thank you, Ty. Just what I needed. Some more golden cogs. Yes, an infrarang. This has an infrared attachment. 
When you enter scope mode by holding the Ties View button, you'll be able to see things that you couldn't see before. You little ripper! This is it, the wide open outback. What a glorious view. Lots of sand, red earth and rock, and some more sand, and, and another rock and, and more s <clears throat> Yes, it's glorious, all right. You're gonna sit on that? Are you feeling all right, mate? Ah, oh, he's a big pussycat when you get to know him. Right, Ty? Yeah, right as rain. I use this, me lesser rain. Glad to see you. Can you help me out of a fix? The emus from my health farm have gotten loose. Probably heading for Greasy Gus's hamburger shop again. Struth! Last time they ate at Gus's, I was sick for a week, poor things. I've tried to catch them before, but my old truck, it's just not fast enough. No worries. I'll reel them in with this, me lesser ring. <sighs> I owe you one, possum.
Great possum. Now I won't have to clean up that mess like last time. Please accept this for all your trouble. All right. I thought I could have a nap. Trouble stirs up again. Shazza is off on her afternoon rounds, but I saw a gang of frills heading after her. Do you think you could go and take care of those hooligans? Oh, that's the spirit, mate. OK, all you have to do is knock the frills off their bikes before they reach Shazza.
showed those frills a thing or two. By the way, one of them dropped this. Oh, you beauty! This used to be the best little water in hole, mate. It had crystal clear drinking water and was a great place for a bit of a paddle. Right, so what happened to it? Uh, that Galar boss Cass decided this would make a nice little toxic waste dump. I don't know how, Ty, but we have to stop those pumps. Uh, you're a top bloke, Ty. Just keep an eye out for those rotten frill lizards. Hey, mate. Maybe you should aim at those pipes. Did it. Look at those beautiful animals. It's moments like these that make me proud to be a ranger. Oh, I want you to have this. Oh, sorry, mate. 
I've got something in my eye. Oh, hey, sweet. It's a real scorcher today, and a few spot fires have broken out. Straight! Every time I try to put out a fire, one of those thrills gets in the way. Can you lend me a hand, mate? Good on you, mate. There's enough water in those towers to douse the flames. rules and save the town without breaking a sweat. You deserve a medal. In fact, you deserve better than that. Bonza!
Okay, Ty, you ready to tear up the road? this. Young Ty, let's get to work. I, I have a lock on the talisman. This should be extremely simple. Yes, indeed. Simple as can be. <laughs> yes, no.
That poor shark was a cybernetic pawn of boss cast. Swim free, sweet crikey. Swim free. You beauty! You have come far. This will be no easy task. But I have faith in you, my friend. Don't just stand there like a stunned mullet, mate. Julius has got something that will help you enter Cassus Crest, mate. Off you go. Ah, Chai. Good to see you. I've again harnessed the energy off the talisman machine. Let's see what we get this time, shall we? My word! This must be... a Frosty Rang! Ripper! Yes. Oh, yes! The Frosty Rang can put out fires, freeze enemies, and even create ice cubes in water. To select it, use the previous rang and next rang buttons to cycle through your collection. You won't be disappointed. Now go try it out. Hello, Ty. You've got some more golden cogs. Let's see what we get this time. Oh my, this is a mega rang. When you throw it, it will automatically target every enemy around you. Quite remarkable, really. Sweet as!
Lake Burrell is an excellent focal point for the talisman machine. You go first. No, you go first. Well, I went first last time. Get in here! Did you take care of that troublesome Tasmanian tiger? Well, that's just the thing, see? He's kind of, um, well, uh, good. What? I cannot believe that a rat could outwit my two best lizards. He's too tough for us, boss. Uh, you know, uh, I was, uh, thinking... Hey, instead of trying to stop it, maybe we should, uh... You okay, boss? Come over here. Just come over here. I won't hurt you. Now, what's my name? Uh, Cat? No, that's my last name. What's my first name? Oh, oh, I know, I know. Let him answer. Ah, uh, boss. That's right. And I hate only Ow. boss around Ooh. here. And I Ow. do Ow. all the thinking. Now get out of my sight, <laughs> imbeciles. I've surrounded myself with numbskull imbeciles. Maybe I can help. After all, who knows Tasmanian tigers better than me? Who indeed? <laughs> oh, this rainforest is home to some beautiful fauna and flora and some twisty turny paths. Just remember to keep your wits about you, and you'll do okay. Howdy who? The name's Lenny. Lenny the Liarbird. We have got some trouble in this gusty old desert. Uh, don't you mean rainforest? Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, you bring forth, that's right, sure. Anyway, Boss Cass has kidnapped Princess Orchid. I'll show you where she's being held captive. Follow me, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I say! This button opens the door! As I say, jump to the other side.
this, I say. Fight these spy eggs to reach the other side. Yeah, go ahead, go on, go on. Oh, they're delicious. Kill them. Follow me and do as I say. To reach the other side. Yeah, go ahead, go on, go on. Oh, they're delicious. Show up. Follow me and do as I say. is pretty dangerous. Hey, wait right here. Yeah, right there. Don't move.
Princess Orchid is inside. So, uh, oh, hey, is that the time? Oh, I gotta go. I, I got something else to do. Yeah, I, I, I got, I'm whipping up some fried calamari. Woo, delish. Yeah, gotta go, see ya. This is terrible. Boss Cass has stolen all the water. Well, that's no good. Mmm, indeed. I think these levers could reverse the flow and fill the lake again. We're all counting on you, Ty. Hey, no worries. Oh. Job well done. Now the leg's back to normal thanks to you. Oh, by the way, something popped out of the pipes when the water started flowing. Would you like it? Ripper!
messed with Boss Cass. Now, I'm gonna mess with you. ever beaten me in battle before. You haven't seen the last of me. Did I? Did I did. Next time, trust your Uncle Lenny. Oh, you beauty! Lucky is all, but fair is fair. Next time I'll beat you. Sweet.
bushfires at the bottom, snow at the top, and thunder eggs hidden everywhere in between. Welcome to the Snowy Mountains. Ty, this is so dreadful. It's happened again. The children were playing hide and seek when a bushfire broke out. They're trapped and I don't know what to do. Please, can you bring them back safe and sound? Sure thing, Sheila. Relax.
ain't I? Poor old Sheila's in a bit of a diz. It seems Booney has run off looking for thunder eggs. He heard you were collecting them. Wait a minute, that's my job. So it is. Can you go and grab the little tyke before he gets himself into trouble, Ty? No worries, Murray. Now you listen here, Booney. What you did today was very irresponsible. You could have worried Sheila sick, let alone me. I'm sorry. So you should be. Now, I hear you've got something to give our good mate Ty, right? I found this. You can have it. Ripper! Oh. Kids these days. Computers, internet, mobile phones, it drives you mad.
Those rotten thrills will be the end of me. They've taken to throwing rocks at the cable cars. It's a disgrace, that's what it is. Leave it to me, Ranger Ken. You're a dead set legend, mate.
What a ripper of an effort. You knock the stuffing out of those thrills and make the cable car safe. I reckon you deserve this, Ty. It's a little something from the department to thank you for all your trouble. You beauty!
G'day, Cobber. Those rotten thrills are lighting fires all over the place. That's irresponsible, that's what it is. Yeah, too right. The department has sent me a snowball launcher to sort it out. But, mate, I wouldn't have a clue how to operate the thing. Could you help me out? Showed those thrills a thing or two. You know what, mate? I want to make you an honorary ranger. I don't have a spare badge on me, but I do have this funny rock I found earlier. Bonza! You did it! Thanks again, Ty. By the way, little Kiki found this in a log. I know you collect them, so it's all yours. Wicked! Thank you. 
it! Wow, you won! You got lucky as all. But fair is fair. Next time I'll beat you. Sweet. I see you gathered enough cogs, Ty, to get the machine going again. Jolly good. Let's see what we have this time. Oh, magnificent, Ty. It's a kaboomerang. This ring is equipped with enough explosive force to destroy even the largest of rocks. You should have some fun with this one. Yes, yes, yes. Phew, beauty. Sun, sand, surf, sharks and sea mines. There's never a dull moment in the Great Barrier Reef. Just don't forget to slap on the old sunscreen. G'day, Ty. Rex and I are looking for pirate treasure. Pirate treasure? Sweet. I downloaded a map off that internet thingy, and it shows where Wedgwood's treasure is buried. Wedgwood's treasure? Wedgwood was a fierce pirate who ruled the Southern Seas, but he left pirating to try something even more cutthroat. Like what? Teaching. Anyway, legend has it that he buried his treasure on one of these islands. I couldn't decipher the entire map, but I think it's some sort of treasure hunt that starts on Crab Island. Could you take a look for me? Sure, no worries. Thanks, Dal. Shaped rock 
will give ye pleasure. been tearing around the neighborhood for the last week causing all sorts of strife if you can make them stop I've got a present for you okay it's a deal Wonderful silence. Nothing. Ah, thanks. <clears throat> well, uh, I'll be off. Oh, yeah, your reward. Will this do? I don't know what it is, but it sure is pretty. You beauty!
deliver me timbers. From island to island, you glided, jumped, and swam. Now return to the start to see where I am. Wedgwood's treasure. You've searched far and wide, ye landlubber ye. Now here be me treasure, so go, let me be. Ooh, well, one thing's for certain. Yeah, what's that? Wedgwood was a pirate, not a poet. Yeah, had a boat and couldn't row it. Well, look at that. A thunder egg. Who would have guessed? Go, little ripper!
G'day, Ty. Elle and I have been looking for treasure. Bonza! We've discovered the secret location of Parrot Beard's long lost booty. It's inside this cave, but there's a problem. What sort of problem? A big eight legged one. Eight legs? Oh, no! Oh, I hate spiders. Well, you're in luck, doll. It's a giant octopus. Could you keep it busy while we gather the treasure? Good on you, mate. Keep that eight-legged beast busy. Shoot the tentacles! Bonza, mate. You kept that giant octopus off our backs. We couldn't have done it without you, doll. So here's your share. Wicked! What are your legs? Steel flippers. What are they gonna do? Hurl me through the water. I hope. Ho <laughs> ho, let's race!
I'll be a sea monkey's uncle. You beat me. You're a corker of a swimmer, mate. Here, you deserve this. Sweet. Work, Ty. It sure was hard, Yakka, Julius. Hurry, let's get the talisman. Now, uh -huh. I've got a lock on the talisman. Oh, this is getting easier every time. Attack. Maybe fire, then ice. Boss Cass is gonna be peeved. You know, if things were different, we could have been a team. I see you have retrieved the third talisman. Do not become complacent in your quest. There is still much danger ahead. Well, I have to admit it. You're not doing such a bad job, mate. No, adequate, maybe, but, 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 but not bad. Now, Julius is waiting for you, back at his lab. I think he's got a new gadget for you. Bonza! These lightning thunder eggs are simply fascinating. Why is this so? Simply, they produce even more energy than all the other eggs combined. Oh dear. 
And I hope it's safe to channel all that energy into my machine. Well, Ty, there's only one way to find out. No! Oh, tickles. This must certainly be a zappy ring. Ah, uh. oh, sweet as! Oh, 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 be careful with it, Ty. It's quite a shocker. <laughs> oh, dear. Ah, oh, Ty, you've gathered the last of the golden gogs. Excellent work, my boy. Let's see what we get this time. Oh, my! I haven't seen one of these before. It's a chrono ring! Wow! I wonder what it does. Ripper!
I see you have found the rainbow scales that were scattered across the land. As a reward for your ingenuity, I give you a special Bunyip gift. The resilience of a great warrior. May you battle well. I tried, but um, he's stronger than I thought. He's stronger than you thought. How hard can it be? It's just a little orange rat. He has friends. The Bunyips are helping him. What? <laughs> then the stakes have been raised. To take over the wild, I must have those talismans. I need them to open the portal to the dream time so I can banish all those annoying warm-blooded mammals once and for all. Present company accepted, of course. Well, if our orange friend is so intent on finding the talismans, then I say let him. My metal menace here will take care of him and steal back the talismans to boot. <laughs> it's so simple, it's brilliant. <laughs> No one has ever come back from this inhospitable place, so tread carefully.
This is it, Ty. You're about to enter Boss Cass's lair. There's a lot to strive ahead, so do your fair dinkum best to make it through in one piece, okay, Ty? No worries. What's the matter, Mori? Sorry, mate. I've just got something in me eye, that's all. <sighs> ah, she'll be right, mate. She'll be right. Good luck, Ty. Good luck. those frills a thing or two. By the way, one of them dropped this. Who dares disturb my slumber? What are you trespassers doing in my cave? A talisman.
Thanks, Possum. Told you we'd meet again. I'm gonna enjoy this. What? What are you doing? I'm giving you a hand, mate. Let go of me. I... I you... You're gonna regret this. I should have done years ago. I'm giving him a hand, mate. After all I did for you? What? Lied to me? Good luck, Ty. You traitorous Tasmanian tiger. 
Pew beauty! The talismans are back where they belong. Order is restored, and chaos has been averted. All thanks to you, Ty the Tasmanian Tiger. No problem, mate. I'm just doing my job. Still doing here. The game's over. Go read a book or something.
y'all.
the snap.
appetite, there's no point in mucking about. Why don't you have another go, you mug? You took your time, mate. Now listen to this. Kids these days. Computers, internet, mobile phones, it drives you mad. There's no point in mucking about. Why don't you have another go, you mug? Took your time, mate. Now listen to this. <laughs> oh. Kids these days. Computers, internet, mobile phones, it drives you mad. Tight, there's no point in mucking about. Why don't you have another go, you mug? Took your time, mate. Now listen to this. <laughs> oh. Kids these days. Computers, internet, mobile phones, it drives you mad.
tight, there's no point in mucking about.